Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQB.com webcast. Let's start with John Smith and the forecast. John. Well, we have mostly sunny skies in store for the state of New Mexico today, but you do want to be careful out there because we are under a fire weather watch over much of the state, and we will be seeing temperatures in the mid-70s. Then as we head through your Friday and toward the weekend, high pressure starts to slide over the state, and as that does so, we will see temperatures rise as we head into the weekend. Temperatures in the Roswell area will make it into the mid-90s. In fact, we may be breaking a few records as we head toward Saturday. These are the record highs that are already in place for this Saturday, but look at these numbers as we head into our forecast highs, not very different from those record highs. So we'll be flirting with records, and we may break a record or two as we head into Saturday. Here's your extended forecast for the city of Albuquerque. We'll see temperatures in the upper 70s for tomorrow into the 80s as we head towards Saturday. Then we cool off early next week with a little more cloud cover as another storm system passes by. It was a case that left many disgusted and angry, not just in New Mexico but around the nation. Now word that no charges will be filed after human body parts were not disposed of properly. An investigation was started one year ago after seven heads, a torso and limbs from Albuquerque's BioCare Incorporated were discovered at a Kansas City waste facility. BioCare was in charge of harvesting organs for medical research. Then the company was supposed to cremate the remains and return the ashes to the families, which didn't happen. Vernalillo County District Attorney's Office told us there wasn't enough enough evidence for criminal charges against Paul Montano, the owner of BioCare. We're following a developing story. An explosive device goes off in a police officer's vehicle. Around 7 this morning, a Rio Rancho police officer found the windows blown out of his cruiser parked at the Eagle Ranch Luxury Apartments. The APD bomb squad and the FBI are working the case. They don't know if the seven-year veteran officer was a target or this was random. There have been a few explosive devices discovered over the last few weeks, but APD doesn't believe this one is related to the others. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.